Hello and welcome to the What Are We Show. I'm one of your hosts, Alex Drake. I'm your other host, Dragon Pat. And today we have a special shout out. We're going to give a shout out to Mega Twingo. Well, that's spelled M E G A T W I N G O. He's a, he's a new subscriber he's who a did us the favor of doing a very, very in depth comment on our Deutschland mm -hmm. episode. And he finished that out by giving us a request. Now, as you know, we like requests. We have no problem with them. Don't always guarantee we'll give them a try, but we're going to go ahead and do this one. He gave us the idea. He wanted to hear us talk about Igor. I-G-O-R-R-R. -O -R -R, and specific, the song of Very Noise. So let's go ahead and pull that up. Now, I'm going to be putting this in the small box course, and we'll be talking about the song at different points throughout the song, cutting it here and there to try to keep the gods and face of uh, YouTube. YouTube happy. But let's go ahead and start out by our first impressions. Now, I've heard this song, what, four or five times now? Yeah. And I've come to one conclusion. I don't know what I think. In some ways, it's a very disturbing, very... unfriendly feel. And yet, I like that. And there's parts... I mean, the whole feel of this is very... There's a darkness to it. Go ahead and get... Let's... It doesn't seem like it goes, there's, I mean, there's no simple melody line in this whatsoever. None that I can pick out. Granted, others may do a better job of finding it. The, from what I can see, this is done primarily on keyboards and electronics. Yeah. They do have a drummer. We've gone ahead and looked for a live version of it, and it's just the one individual with his machines. Yeah. Now, on the other live version, we saw of a different song of theirs. They had a Barker and the girl who was singing in such a odd mm -hmm. voice that it was. I mean, it's a very dis they're a very disturbing group, and sometimes that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I don't, let's see if we can find out some information about Igor. Well, he's looking that up. And listening to this song, again, like I said, my first impulse is confusion. I don't know what I think of it because... Okay, it's a single individual. Individual's name is uh, Gunter Sierra, better known by his stage name, Igor. He's a French musician. He combines black metal, baroque metal, breakcore, and trip hip into a singular song. He's also a part of the groups Warcore and Corporal. Corporal Corporal Benta. He was born in 1984 in France. He's he's interesting. I like the fact that he doesn't seem to be bound by any set of rules. 
he puts out, I mean, this, the, very, the song Very Noise seems to combine all this type, all this noise and do it in such a way that you, it, it ends up perplexing you and in some way disturbing you. Now, that very complexity and the disturb, disturbing nature also tends to call to you, mm-hmm. at least to me. Granted, I'm not what you'd call a normal person. I tend to see things and find find things that get go to different directions. Um, what else can I say? I mean, let's go back and listen to a little more of the song. We're going to slowly play the song throughout this. Now, I liked that heavier bass bit, and I wish it was more central. Yeah, he thought this was an actual band at first. I did. It sounds and like it. It could be. I mean, you could. I could see, and I'll be honest. If there was an actual bass player thumping that out, the dude was good. The drummer. I don't know where he goes with this. I mean, I understand it's all primarily recorded on this guy's machines, and done with electronics. But I can see a drummer pulling this off. Yeah. And granted, it wouldn't be a slack drummer. Mm-hmm. But I can see him having a blast doing it. Oh, yeah. Let's continue. Mm-hmm. definitely pushes against what seems normal to you and by breaking away from normality normality to me it forces people to examine what they think in this case what is noise mm-hmm. now from the few other pieces that we've heard from Igor it seems that this is his motif of this eclectic sounds mixed together in a non-lyrical fashion because there's no overriding melody to me there's no overriding theme in this other than trying to make I mean to me it's trying to make me feel disturbed it just seems like it go well in some clubs. Yes, it just does seem like it could be a very good club song. Uh, a very darker club. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't know much more I could say. I'm really looking forward to seeing what our, what our newest, well, on our, what our new subscriber says about it. Get his input. Yeah. And again... Please, if you're out there and you see music or something that you want us to check out, go ahead. The least we, I mean, if we don't like it, we're going to tell you. And on this one, I can't say I don't like it, but I can't, I mean, it's not going to be something I'm going to listen to on a regular basis. Nope. But, man, I can see it being used in soundtracks. Yeah. Really mess with people. Uh huh. <laughs> It'd be better than rap. Yeah, that's not saying much, but the, yeah. Well, to our new friend, I want to say thank you for introducing us to a new, basically an entirely new genre, 
and in a very unique and very, and I will say, talented performer. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to see what else he does, and I'll be looking into that slowly over the next few weeks. Other than that, this is our take on very noise, and that is its unique noise. Mm hmm Anything else you want to say? No. All right. Have a great day, guys. See you next time. And thanks a lot. Yep.